Hello everyone and a warm welcome. My name is Simon and I'll be hosting today's webinar that has the title of Enjoy the Privilege and Quality of Being a Student in a Green, Peaceful and Caring Country Study in Slovenia. And today you will learn about the presentation of the many study programs offered by the universities and other uh, higher educational institutes. That is from the University of Ljubljana, University of Nova Gorica, University of Primorska, as well as the University of Maribor. You'll hear more about the subjects and the programs that are being taught in English, more information about the study conditions, the duration of the programs, enrollment procedures, fees, and etc. We'll also learn about the language requirements and the language learning options, as well as the benefits of the student life in Slovenia, because you have the option of having subsidized meals and subsidized transports, as well as the student work possibilities. Among many things, you'll also hear about the study exchange programs, summer schools, and of course about the extracurricular activities. And telling you much more than just this will be my lovely panel of five presenters that are joining me today from Slovenia, from Ljubljana. And firstly, I would like to introduce Maria Medved from Study in Slovenia. Next off, it's time to meet Katja Terar. She is the head of office for internalization at the University of Ljubljana. And then uh, next, uh, sitting here next to her, we have Stoen Primožić. Uh, he is the study program advisor at the University of Maribor. So that's our second university. And then it's time to meet Boris Kavur. He is the Vice Rector for Internalization from University of Primorska. And then last but not least, we also have joining us uh, Veronica Piccinini, who is the Student Recruitment Advisor from the last university being University of Nova Gorica. And a warm welcome to you guys. How are you today? You look very well. Very well. Marvelous. Thank you so much for taking the time. And I'm sure that the audience that has joined would actually prefer to hear more from you. So without further ado, let's go to your presentation. Let's make it full screen for the audience to enjoy it better. And the last step would be me giving you the presenter role and with it, the floor, and you guys can take it from here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Hello to everybody, to all the young uh, students who have uh, joined us on this uh, webinar and who would like, like you said, uh, Simon, who would like to learn more about Slovenia, our country, and uh, all the unique uh, possibilities of being a student in um, in this part of the world. Uh, probably you don't know where Slovenia is, but uh, we are here to give you more information so that you know where we are and uh, make you very warmly welcome. Uh, so why would you choose Slovenia? Um, first of all, we were thinking, okay, it's a small country, it may not be on the map, uh, as big as the Russia, but it's a very safe country, which in these circumstances is a very important thing, as you know. Uh, its surface is very green. It's, uh, you know, woods and forests everywhere. One of the things we do well is speak uh, many foreign languages, so you won't have any problems uh, communicating in English, Italian, German, French, and also all the languages of the former Yugoslavia. So um, this is one of the things we are very proud of, um, and uh, we, we would also like to emphasize the quality of our life. Uh, everywhere we go, we, we come back and then see and appreciate more what we have at home, uh, also in the lifestyle, in the, in the you know, quality of uh, living and all the benefits that we have in this country. It's a small country, like I've said many times already, but we have it all. We have, you know, you can go skiing in an hour from Ljubljana or even less. Uh, you have many lakes, um, many rivers, and then we have the sea also and just an hour away from here. And uh, we are located uh, next to Italy and Austria and Hungary and Croatia. So you are in a very good position to discover uh, cities like Vienna, Venice, Milano, or when you go for a swim on Croatian islands or go, you know, to a festival in Budapest. So you're very near to a lot of cities in Europe and we are part of the EU, so um, we're, you know, perfectly located. Um, but that's not, you know, what you need to know. Of course, we will focus on being a student here and why is it such a unique opportunity if you're here? Because we say you have like ideal student life uh, while being on a study or study exchange because we have um, possibilities of subsidized meals. You have uh, uh, for very low budget, you can get excellent choice of food. 
and also you have subsidized transport in the city. And then uh, what is very unique for Slovenia is that you can work as a student, of course not the full time, but you can work to a certain extent and you know make your life here even easier because you can learn uh, you can earn a little bit of money. Um, for extracurricular activities, universities will tell you also that there's so much um, activities going on that uh, uh, make your life uh, very pleasant while being here and while studying. And one of the things we would also like to emphasize is that every university has a career center, so they may guide you and give you support, and also a buddy, you, you know, for um, international students, you have a buddy or a tutor system, uh, which makes you even more welcome because uh, they take care of you while you're a student here, uh, not only in a study um, relate, related issues, but also, you know, social life and things that are concerned, you, you know, that are important to you while you're being here. Um, like uh, Simon has already said, uh, don't worry about Slovene language. Not many people speak Slovene uh, apart from us, uh, but there's a lot of options you can learn Slovene. Um, you have it here on the slide, one of the online courses, which is very appreciated by the foreign students and they love it, so you're welcome to try it and you also have some other uh, courses, more and less intensive. Uh, but of course there's programs also uh, in English, not everything is in Slovene, so you don't need to be perfect uh, at, you know, through the whole uh, procedure. Um, and then we have a lot of libraries which uh, help you there and the good infrastructure there. And then, um, like I said, you have a lot of possibilities to travel and do activities in a way of sport or leisure time or, you know, there's a lot of things you can do in our country. And last but not least, we would like to emphasize that we do have a delicious food. It varies and we have an impact from Mediterranean and the Balkan food, so it's a very tasty uh, combination, which is also important also for you, I would say. Um, so why would you study? I know you, you now already know why would you come here, um, but let me emphasize also the ratio between the quality. We really do take care of the quality of our study and um, compared to some other European countries, the fees are not as high per year as somewhere else. And uh, many countries, um, due to our bilateral agreement, you don't need to pay tuition. Uh, so you have more information available on the on our website or university website, so you will see. And then we have funds for and or scholarships, also up to PhD and also including the PhD level. Um, many programs, are, like I've said, are delivered in English. Uh, particularly, you will have more choice on the second and third uh, level. So for master and PhD courses, you will have a lot of opportunities there. And uh, we also all agree that you don't have so much other costs while you're studying. You know, there's not an extensive list of, of why, what you would be paying for uh, while you're studying here. And uh, last but not least, there's um, uh, other programs, like shorter versions of studying here or doing an exchange, like Erasmus or CEPUS program, or we have the bilateral agreement, and based on them, you can have a lot opportunity to come for a few months, you don't need to stay here for longer. So, you know, you can think of it and then see what suits you best. Um, but otherwise, our higher education system is uh, part of the Bologna uh, system, so you have a short cycle higher educational education, which programs last normally two years. And then you have the first level, which is bachelor's degree, you have three or four years, depending on the program. And then for master, you have one to two years, and then three years of doctoral program. Um, well, the majority of universities are public. We also have private university, and then we have the other smaller higher education institutions, which uh, you will find on the website. It's around 50 of them, so you can also um, have a look there. So now that I've had you um, interested even more, how do you get here? Uh, you can check our website, uh, Studying Slovenia, or you can go to universities. You will now hear directly from them and see 
you know, have the links and uh, have the have hear about their possibilities and uh, particularities. And uh, one of the things is also important that the most of the calls are open and are published with all the deadlines for applications. Uh, and we do have a national system, it's online, for applying. Uh, but, you know, think first and then uh, you will get to it, uh, no problem. Uh, so I will give the word to my first university. Thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Hello, everybody. My name is Katya, and I'm coming from the University of Ljubljana. I'm going to tell you about our university, what can you study here, and what can you expect as our students. So, uh, our university is located in Ljubljana, the capital of Slovenia, um, which is a very useful and pleasant city to live in. We have many theaters, galleries, museums, uh, and in the city center you can find a lot of pubs and restaurants too, and there is a lot of green areas um, in the city center. So, here on the picture you can see Congress in Turk. This is one of the largest squares in Ljubljana. Uh, and there is also a seat of our university, which was established in 1919 with five member schools. Uh, so next year we're going to celebrate 100 year anniversary. Uh, at present, we have 23 faculties and three art academies, which covers all fields of studies. And they're all located in Ljubljana, except faculty of maritime studies and transport, which is located in Postoroz by the sea. So this year, we have almost 40,000 students who are studying at our university, and among them, there are approximately 10% of international students. Our university is very successful in the research area, and we have more than 30% of all registered researchers in Slovenia. And um, our particular concern is transfer of knowledge to the economy, and that's why we cooperate closely with Slovenian and foreign companies and as our students, you will have the opportunity to participate in those projects. So in the next academic year, you can select among 373 degree programs at bachelor, master, and doctoral levels. Uh, you can see that uh, we, you don't have to pay tuition fee if you're coming from EU countries or if you are coming from the countries with which Slovenia has included bilateral agreement. These are Serbia, Kosovo, Montenegro, and no, no, yeah. and probably there will be signs again with Bosnia and Herzegovina, but this will be known probably in April. Uh, tuition uh, pays students who study part-time or doctoral students, and if you have already acquired uh, equivalent degree of education. So according to Slovenian legislation, we have to organize our programs in Slovene language, but some of our faculties also organize programs in English and other foreign languages too. So in the next academic year, we will have 69 programs organized uh, in English or other foreign languages, uh, mostly on bachelor, uh, master level, there will be 42 degree programs, and of master you can choose among six degree programs. Here you can see that most of the master programs in foreign language will be provided at our Faculty of Arts, uh, which is our largest faculty, and they offer a lot of language programs too. We are committed to interdisciplinary uh, and uh, multidisciplinary studies, and we offer multidisciplinary, five multidisciplinary master degree programs and 11 joint degree programs together with uh, universities from abroad. Here are listed only those programs which will be provided in foreign languages. At the doctoral level, uh, we have 21 degree programs. This year, we organized for the first time a joint doctoral degree program, Government and Economics in Public Sector, together with University uh, of Rica from Croatia. This is our neighbor country. And uh, as I mentioned before, doctoral students have to pay for their studies, but we have a co-financing scheme uh, for all students who have the conditions to get co-financing. So very important for those candidates who are interested to study at our university at doctoral level is that you have to choose a mentor before enrollment, and you have at least agree on the content of doctoral dissertation and participation in research work. So doctoral programs are usually 
co uh, provided in small groups and uh, lecturers and professors uh, and students agree about the language. Uh, here you can see that we have different uh, application periods at bachelor level for candidates who are coming from EU countries and those who are coming from non-EU countries. So if you're coming from EU country, uh, so now it's already ongoing application period as Maria mentioned, and uh, it will end for EU candidates on by the end of the March and for non-EU candidates, I think on April 20. And then uh, the second period for EU candidates will be from uh, 22nd to 29th August. And if our uh, faculty and academies will announce available uh, enrollment slots, there will be second application period also for candidates who are coming from non-EU countries and those uh, in Slovenia without Slovenian citizenship in September from 12th to 14th September. At master and doctoral level, we have different um, application deadlines. So please go to our website and check the specific uh, degree program you are interested in. Um, as our students, you will get many opportunities to get involved in extracurricular research and other activities. You will be able to attend additional and training courses. Uh, we, we are organizing and prepared a special activity called Tier Plus. This is help just for international students to get you acquired language and other skills in your first year of study in Slovenia at bachelor and master level. And uh, you will be able to join to many Slovenian language courses uh, before the, the beginning of the academic year and during the academic year. And you can learn Slovene language also now online, you have this possibility. And uh, we have Slovene teachers at foreign universities, so you can check on our website and contact uh, them if they are in your country and they, they will give information about the possibility about the courses of Slovene language in your country. So our uh, university is very committed to internationalization. And that's why we cooperate and exchange our arts and scientific achievements with many universities from abroad. Now I would like to invite you to our website. Maria will help me to, uh, <laughs> to establish connection. Uh, and at our website, uh, you'll be, you will be able to find a short presentation of study in 12 different languages. And there are also published all um, relevant information about offered degree programs in this academic year, about tuition fee, about language of instruction, enrollment requirements, admission and administrative procedures, and also about living in Slovenia and so on. So I hope you get all necessary information. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to write us in the comment section below, or you can always send us email. Thank you. I'm going to give a word to Stojan from University of Maribor. Thank you. Okay, hello, welcome. Um, so my name is Stojan and I come from the University of Maribor. And let me tell you a few things about uh, our university. So. Um, uh, the University of Maribor is situated in Maribor, which is the second largest city, and also our university is the second largest university in uh, Slovenia. Mm, we are situated in the north, uh, in the north uh, east of the country, and also most of our faculties are situated in Maribor. Um, we we are we are we are uh, quite a big university. We offer 17 uh, faculties. Uh, most of them, as I mentioned, are uh, situated in Maribor. Five of them are scattered around uh, other cities in Slovenia. Uh, we offer uh, 185 uh, study programs, which are Bologna study programs, on all levels. So that's uh, bachelor, uh, uh, PhD, and master study programs. Uh, in the current academic year, we have 672 enrolled uh, foreign students. And um, our staff is about 1,700 uh, members. Um, our faculties, as I mentioned, we, we offer a 
a wide range of uh, faculties and uh, study fields. So you can you can study from uh, natural sciences to engineering, medical and health sciences, um, social sciences, and uh, humanities. Um, our study programs are in Slovenian, but in this academic year, in the current academic year, we will also uh, offer a few study programs in uh, English. But for that, I would suggest you to go to our website and check the call from, for enrollment because we, uh, well, there are some conditions applied to which study programs will be offered in English if there are, of course, enough foreign students uh, enrolled. Maria? Uh, so we are we are proud uh, of our university because three years in a row we were ranked as the top Slovenian university by the Times University uh, ranking. Mm, also, we were we were ranked best among uh, the fields of mathematics and physics and astronomy, and we also got the award for outstanding uh, international student satisfaction. Uh, so, why come and study uh, at our university? Um, as I mentioned before, um, we offer a wide range of uh, study programs. Uh, um, um, many, many study programs are, uh, are offered also in English, as I mentioned. Uh, we have an effective tutoring system. Uh, there is an active um, uh, there is an active uh, career center of the University of Maribor which helps students already during the studies and also after they, they graduate uh, and they help them in the, in the job market. Uh, their uh, students have the opportunity to be a part of uh, many student competition teams which are very successful. Uh, we um, offer many, also many uh, activities in, the, in sports or culture. Um, the study programs uh, can be also offered as uh, e-learning, e as e-study, and we offer also many uh, e-study materials for the study programs. Um, our application period, uh, if, you, if you're applying for undergraduate studies and you come from EU member countries, um, the first application period is, uh, is March 30th. And then we have a second application period uh, between August 22nd and 20, 29th. Um, if you come from non-EU countries, uh, there is also two application periods. First application period is until April 20th, and then the second application period is between September 12th and September 14th. For postgraduate studies, if you come from, from uh, EU countries, um, you only have one application period, which is uh, until September 10th. And uh, if you are applying for, uh, and you come from a non-EU country, there's two application periods. One is until May 31st, and then the second application period is uh, between July 9th and September 10th. How much does it cost? How much does it cost to come study at the University of Maribor? Um, uh, as my colleagues mentioned before, if you come from an EU country or a country that has an agreement with uh, the Republic of Slovenia, the study is free. Otherwise, if you come from non-EU countries, uh, for undergraduate studies, you would pay around 2,500 uh, euros per year. For master studies, the average is about 3,000 euros and for PhD studies, around 3,500 euros. Um, some additional info about our university, please visit our website, www.um.si. I will show you later the, the website. Uh, if you have questions, uh, there's two emails, one for the uh, undergraduate studies and one for postgraduate studies. And also we are present at, uh, face, you know, on Facebook, so please visit also our Facebook site. So I'll ask my colleague to just show you our website. So this is the, the, the English part of the University of Maribor website where you can find all the information on the, on the left-hand side, all the information about undergraduate study, postgraduate study, call for enrollment, and so on.
So I hope you got some useful information and I would like to welcome you at the University of Maribor. And now on to the University of Primorska. Um, dear colleagues, dear future students, uh, welcome to the presentation of the University of Primorska. Uh, sometimes it is very good to be the youngest child of the Slovenian educational system because uh, my colleagues told so much about those uh, requirements and basics which hold for the whole Slovenian educational system. So you heard everything about the costs. Um, they're much the same. Uh, you heard about the enrollment. This is nationally regu uh, uh, regulated. So I will be uh, able to speak about the circumstances of living and studying in Copa. And those are, let me say, a little bit more beautiful than in the West of Slovenia. Uh, we are located at the coast uh, of the Mediterranean. So a few kilometers to Italy and a few kilometers to uh, Croatia is nothing in comparison to the few hundred meters which divide our university from the northern tip of the Adriatic. And as a famous uh, philosopher and historian from Croatia said, once you dip your hand into the Adriatic, you are in contact with the whole world. And the whole world means literally whole world, since the port of Koper is becoming one of the major trade, trading centers for Central and Eastern Europe. Basically, if you are eating a banana in Central Europe, it has been to Koper. So you are invited uh, to join the place where your banana has already been. Our university was established some 15 years ago. Uh, this means that we are not burdened with the burdens of the past. And we were able to develop a young, a very dynamic environment for studying and doing research. This means that although we have got less than 10% of foreign students at the moment, but we have got more than 10% of our staff from our pro pro of our professors coming from abroad. So wherever you come from, it will be very easy for you to find students coming from your homeland or professors coming from your place of origins at our university. That's why the tutorial system, and actually the system of support uh, for foreign students is much more individual and much more user-friendly than you could imagine by reading through our basic documents. Uh, to move to the subjects, uh, being so small is sometimes a very big benefit because uh, you can study at six faculties where you are not only a number, but you very soon become an individual. You can work in small study groups. The, uh, consequently, you are very soon involved with your professors into some basic uh, research work for which you can luckily also get paid since our university is quite successful by obtaining uh, funds for student work and student and professor um, research, uh, of course. Our university offers at the moment more than 80 uh, study programs. Uh, in which foreign students make a large degree on master and PhD students. So uh, by reading through our programs, you can realize that they are very user-friendly and oriented also towards foreign students. Uh, you can earn, learn very easily foreign languages at our university. So uh, although there's no problem of uh, communicated in numerous foreign languages. There are courses of Slovenian language available for all the foreign students and all those who would like to work on their language uh, capacities. Um, slowly to conclude, our university is not only uh, the most Western Slavic university in, uh, in Europe, but uh, also the university in Europe, which has only got a bilateral agreement with the Lomonosov Moscow State University. So the Russian giant uh, is uh, giving with our university some double degrees in economics and finances and in mathematics. And we are developing some further programs with them and numerous other universities around the world, for which we are very um, pleased and, and feel honorable to be able to do so. And of course, we are also very proud of our research. Just uh, the last year, 
our center of excellence, which was established by the university and foreign partners in a renew, uh, has grown into a major infrastructure for research of renewable uh, sources specializing on wood technologies. So, although being a small university, unable to cover all the fields of research and education, we are very good at those few things we are doing. Uh, and of course, to, con uh, to conclude, what we are especially proud of is our university press. The university press, where each and every publication of our university is available online for free. And there, you can also find the basic information about studying in our university, such as the booklet about the study offer and the welcome guide to our university. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, on behalf of University of Primorska, I bid you welcome to join us uh, in this wonderful place of the Mediterranean. And now, just let me allow you to join the last presenter of the day, Madame Veronica. So hello, my name is Veronica Piccinini and I represent the University of Nova Gorica. Among the universities present here today, we are the smallest and the westernmost university uh, in Slovenia. Um, first, I would like to introduce the position of uh, our university uh, on the map, uh, because Nova Gorica is a relatively uh, small town if we compare it to Ljubljana, it is located in Western Slovenia, um, just next to the Italian-Slovenian border, as you can see it on the map. And uh, our university is actually um, located um, in the town itself, uh, but we also have um, two other campuses in the neighboring towns, Aydoscina and Vipava. And as you will learn uh, later on, we um, also operate in Italy, so we are actually uh, one university in two countries, as you will learn later. A few words about our uh, town and uh, our wider region. It's called the North uh, Primorska region. The word Primorska uh, actually means uh, near the sea, and indeed we are not far from the sea, and we are not far from the University of um, uh, so, uh, if, if you have a look at the picture shown in the slide, you can see that uh, we live in a kind of uh, very nice and attractive sub-Mediterranean region between the mountains. On the left, you see a very popular uh, tourist spot, the Socha River in the unspoiled nature, and the Alps um, behind. Uh, on the other hand, on the right, you have the rolling hills of uh, Borba, which is a sub-Mediterranean border region known for winemaking. Uh, and there you also have cherries, which is also a sign of um, Mediterranean uh, climate. Um, Nova Gorica is a town which is uh, relatively um, young and modern, so you can see from the architecture itself. As I told you, it is located on the very border with Italy and actually forms a single conurbation with the neighboring town of Gorizia, Italy. And in the right, you can see a photo that almost every student takes when he or she comes to study to the, our university. Uh, there is um, a square. Um, located between the towns of Nova Gorica and the Italian town of Gorizia, uh, where actually uh, the border between the two countries runs right through the square and everybody likes to take a photo with one foot in Italy and one in Slovenia. If we move on, um, I've already told you uh, we are one university in the country. Here you can see our premises. Uh, the main one in Nova Gorica, number one, and uh, Vipava and Aydoscina, number two and three. This is in Slovenia still, but we also run some uh, programs in Italy. Number four is in the neighboring town of uh, Gorizia, where we uh, have our school of arts. 
and uh, number five is actually Venice, where we run one of the, our doctoral study programs. Um, our uh, study programs are carried out by seven schools. Here you have the list of schools and study programs. We offer um, study programs of all levels, from bachelor's to doctoral study programs. Uh, we cover all major fields, from engineering, science, that means natural sciences, to humanities, uh, arts, and biotechnology. So, uh, the School of Engineering and Management offers a uh, bachelor's and master's degree in engineering and management. The School of Environmental Sciences covers the area, the area of the environmental sciences on bachelor's and master's levels. The School of Science is specialized in physics and astrophysics. Um, it has a um, uh, bachelor's and master's study program in this field. And uh, a novelty in this academic year is also uh, the master's study program at Zero Science. Um, well, we are kind of unique, and we are the only um, university uh, in the Balkan area, so to say, or, or this part of Europe, offering a specialized uh, bachelor's study program in viticulture and enology. I've already mentioned the vineyards, and indeed, um, winemaking is a serious business in this part of Slovenia and the wider cross-border um, region. Um, so we also feel the need to preserve this tradition and educate experts for the future who will continue this tradition of winemaking in the future. Um, the School of Arts uh, is specialized in digital arts and practices and media arts and practices. You can choose between different modals, as you can see. Um, this school is located in Greece and Italy, but it's still within the walking distance from our headquarters in Nova Gorica. The School of Humanities offers study programs um, in the areas of uh, cultural history and Slovene studies on the bachelor's level, and again, Slovene studies and master's level. Uh, then we also offer um, an Erasmus Mundus um, joint study program in migration and intercultural relations. And uh, in this academic year, we have already uh, introduced the unique study program, Digital Humanities. Um, our graduate school covers uh, PhD programs. These last for four years. Um, I will not go through all of them. Perhaps I should point out some very unique and uh, specialized study programs like Christology. I've learned that we are actually the only university in the world offering this study program uh, in this field. Perhaps you do not know what Christology means. The word is related to some type of um, terrain. Probably you have heard that Slovenia has beautiful underground caves. And actually, this is the study about this type of um, terrain. Um, we also offer some double degrees with um, international universities. Um, for example, you have a double degree with um, one of the universities in Venice in Italy in the field of environment. Um, that is on the master's level and uh, another double doctoral degree with uh, another um, Italian university on the doctoral level. And now I would like to point out the advantages of studying with us. Well, um, I agree with the University of Primorska, um, which has already explained that smallness can be actually an advantage. And indeed, from the student's point of view, um, I should say that um, um, taking into account our smallness, it means that we can actually work with our students pretty individually. And uh, it is actually surprising um, how favorable our um, professor and uh, student number ratio is. So the ratio is actually one to three. So it means three students per long professor. Um, and um, we also offer um, a lot of possibilities of engaging in research yet during your studies uh, because we have very well equipped um, research units, laboratories, centers where all the necessary equipment is also available to the students. 
and we are more than glad if students express the wish to engage in research and um, find a mentor for that. Um, we also encourage uh, international mobility a lot. Um, so far, we, we uh, not only have a lot of international students, by the way, and the current number of international students, or actually I should say the percentage, is almost 60% in general. Uh, but we also have a lot of mobility students studying on a short term in Slovenia and also a lot of outgoing students um, which spend their mobility uh, periods abroad. Um, well, in terms of our study programs, I would say that, that mostly they are very practically oriented, um, contemporary, and um, all this, we believe, uh, boosts your employment uh, possibilities. Uh, and indeed, um, um, in general, about 93% of our graduates find a job within one year after, after uh, graduating. That's the latest uh, data from our career center uh, from January uh, 19, uh, 2018. Um, we also um, have very strong links to local and international businesses. We are very, um, uh, very, um, I would say, internationally oriented, also in research, not only in, in um, academic uh, areas, I would say, uh, and all this, we believe, uh, enhances the quality of our study programs. Um, well, I would also like to point out another advantage. Since we are small, it means we are very flexible, and we are also specialized in uh, offering an alternative mode of study for special um, student groups who might need some adaptive modes of uh, study. So we, we have been offering a growing number of e-learning opportunities. We have uh, a lot of lectures that are being professionally recorded and then available online. Um, we have a lot of um, online classrooms and other, and other um, possibilities of e-learning material. And um, we also offer tailored modes of study for um, student athletes. Um, general advantages of studying, um, most of them have already been pointed out. Um, so I would say subsidized student meals, uh, no tuition fees for citizens of certain countries. Uh, and we are also unique. Again, in Nova Gorica, our municipality offers free town transfer to everybody, not only students. Um, and of course, it's a very safe uh, environment. Uh, admission deadlines are similar to the ones um, uh, set by other universities. Currently, they are open for all levels and uh, for uh, the citizens of all countries. For the rest, please consult our website or, or contact our student office. Here are the admission deadlines for uh, master's and PhD studies. And uh, maybe a word about language of instruction officially uh, on bachelor's and master's level, uh, it is Slovene, and on PhD level, it is English. However, again, due to our smallness and flexibility, uh, we can make individual arrangements and uh, we can actually work in smaller groups and uh, offer the student also uh, their language support. And if there are enough students, we can also run parallel courses in English. Um, there are no special requirements in, in terms of the Slovene uh, language uh, knowledge, uh, but um, the B2 level of um, proficiency in English is required for those um, who do not really uh, know Slovene, or I should say recommended, strongly recommended, not required. Uh, well, um, it's of course easy um, to, to say yourself that, well, you're of good quality, but uh, I should also point out what the others say. 
Uh, so again, you can check different um, rankings available on our website and the results. Perhaps I can I can mention the latest round university uh, ranking. Uh, it's a global ranking of universities, and we are very proud because we uh, we have achieved uh, the 186th place on a global scale. And I also uh, like the quote of the um, <laughs> European um, um, Students Association. Um, we have found a small, young, active, and enthusiastic university with happy and satisfied students. And actually, um, we are on the mission uh, <laughs> to keep up with the good work. So uh, please check our website, uh, ask questions, write comments or contact uh, our student office, and here are our contacts. And um, this was all for me. Thank you very much for listening. I will pass on the word to Maria again. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. So this is, I would just like to point out all the contacts. We are very active uh, also on uh, each of us has a Facebook. And then Studying Slovenia has Instagram and YouTube channel, so you can follow us there. And you have all the contacts uh, listed here. And uh, just the last thing, you will have this slide more available. We are, we're not only doing this uh, uh, live um, online event, but we will also have uh, next week, we will do a Facebook Live for Montenegro especially. Uh, and then we are uh, going to be on the educational fair in Belgrade. This is a traditional fair where studying Slovenia is present every year. And then for the first time, so studying Slovenia as such is going to uh, Geneva to EIA fair. And then uh, traditionally fairs in Croatia, we are going there as well. Uh, third time we will be in India in November in New Delhi. And uh, we are still waiting to hear when we are in Bosnia. So if you're from any of these countries, um, please you know, to pay attention to via web, uh, Facebook or website, you will see all the information is not available at the moment. Okay, so we leave this slide and we go back to, uh, to Simon. Guys, thank you so much, uh, Maria, Katia, Veronica, Boris and Stoyan for your part to the webinar, which hasn't quite ended yet. We have now reached the Q&A part of the webinar where our esteemed audience members can submit their questions by typing them in through the appropriate panel called the Q&A. That is the information for the few that join us a little bit later. And in fact, I have a lot of questions already submitted. And uh, let's kick things off with the topic that was asked uh, most in the Q&A, which was the application process. Uh, and uh, perhaps uh, it was, uh, the question would be, perhaps to, paraphrase, to rephrase a lot of the questions, do you have a centralized uh, application form for the four universities or what would be the procedure for anybody looking uh, to study one of the programs? Um, we, uh, okay. uh, we have uh, it's the national, uh, just a second, let me see it. Uh, Simon? Uh, can I just uh, go back to, uh -huh, thank you. Um, I believe if you click yes, there we go. Uh -huh, okay. um, there's an online system uh, which we call the Ebersche, and I have the link in one of the slides. Uh, okay. okay. We can show you on the internet. It's here. It's here. So if uh, Simon does this, no. Uh -huh. In one of the in this slide, there's a, a national um, admission system, and it's an online procedure, and it's the same for for all. Uh, I mean, all students need to go through it. Um, yeah. Let me just rephrase this. Uh, we have a national admission system, and each and every university in their presentation, in our presentation, showed the link. The system is transparent, uh, user-friendly. Sometimes, if any questions would arise, you can contact the uh, admission offices of all the universities. We, you have also seen the links on the PowerPoint presentation where colleagues are very glad to help you out. 
And of course, the basic information from our Slovenian educational system you can find on the home page study in Slovenia, uh, which is provided by the uh, study in Slovenia office, uh, here represented by uh, Maria Mepe. And if I may add, I've just shared the link to our audience members, in fact, to all of the participants in the chat panel. Uh, it is in English, and you guys can find more information about the enrollment or application procedure on the website that you actually currently have on the screen. Yes, and I would just like to add that you have also a video presentation about enrollment uh, procedures. Uh, and enrollment procedures is run for the bachelor level at uh, University of Ljubljana on directorate level. And for master and doctoral, uh, it's run at our uh, faculty and academy. So I don't know, probably it's the same as, as your university. Yeah. So, and uh, you have all um, email addresses and contact persons you can contact uh, on our ministry regarding um, applying uh, to this uh, e application. Mm, if I may, just in from Rahila saying that the EBS offers. Uh, sign in by electronic signature. Uh, how can she get the e-signature credentials? Uh, second paragraph, last word, click here. Mm -hmm. Perfect, thank you so much. And then I have a few questions regarding uh, uh, any scholarships being available. Yes, scholarships are available to our public. Uh, uh, oh, they have quite a long <laughs> name. I will find it here. It is called Public Scholarship Development Disability and Maintenance Fund of the Republic of Slovenia. Uh, and uh, they usually um, call for uh, have open calls for Western Balkans um, students in the, I think, in the field of engineering and technology at master and doctoral level. Um, last year it was also for students from Georgia and um, and from India, a doctoral study. Yeah. Mm, and uh, here I would just like to point out that those students who get scholarships, um, they, uh, they also get uh, accommodation in student hall uh, residence. But our university does not provide uh, scholarships. I don't know what about the yeah, scholarships. Just, uh, just the one through the Ministry of Education mm -hmm. for PhD mm -hmm. studies. At the University of Primorska, there are several scholarships uh, financed by the industry and by the trade or from the region. Uh, so candidates can already enrolled candidates can apply at the pages of the university. And of course, as was mentioned before, the, our Ministry of Science and Education co-financed in the last two years majorly the PhD studies. Uh, so if this politically, the, the size trend should continue, uh, we can be pretty sure that most of the best uh, PhD students will have uh, tuition-free studies also in the future. Thank you so much, Boris. And in fact, I had a question. I believe it was an attendee from Kosovo asking if they would have to pay the tuition fee for the University of Ljubljana, that is. Uh, well, uh, this is valid for all uh, tuition fee. Of, uh, Kosovo, no. Uh, uh, students from Kosovo uh, have to pay tuition fee only if they decide to study part-time. Uh, and as I mentioned before, if they have already acquired uh, equivalent uh, degree of education and at the doctoral studies. Otherwise, this is on the Slovenia, on the country level. Uh, our country has agreement with uh, Kosovo, so those students do not have to pay tuition fee for both bachelor and master studies. Thank you so much. And now that we've kicked things off with a few questions from the Q&A, we also have a few very short questions for our audience members in the form of a poll that I've just opened, where we would like to know where you're thinking of studying. Would it be University of Ljubljana? Would it be University of Maribor? Perhaps University of Primorska? Or last but not least, would it be University of Nova Gorica? We would also like to know what level of studies are you interested in? Would it be a bachelor and a single cycle master degree? Would it be a master degree or perhaps a doctoral degree? That is the second question. And if you would please uh, specify to the field of your desired study. And with the last one, uh, what made you decide for studying in Slovenia? As you can see, a very short poll shouldn't take you long to fill it out. 
just please make sure to click on that submit button in order to finalize your answers. Uh, otherwise, your efforts will have been in vain. So thank you very much in advance for doing so. And then let's see what else can we address from the many questions that we have uh, in the Q&A. Allow me to see. Uh -huh, a good question was from a few attendees, if it's possible to apply uh, to more than just one university. But then there is a procedure. Um, um, it, it is, uh, let's say, on the first uh, level, will be a little bit problematic because uh, for foreign students, uh, adding the information into the system would mostly uh, ascribe you to the study, study program you selected as being the first. Of course, on the, on the master and PhD levels, where you actually choose by yourself into which faculty or, or actually university, you enroll, there is, let's say, a little bit more problem because there is no control where you can apply. Normally, we would encourage uh, to think about where to apply and to add in a single application in order not to have any administrative problems in the future. Thank you very much, Boris. And actually, Isabella would like to know uh, if it's possible to follow two separate programs at the same time. Uh, she's interested in uh, doing law and economics. Economics. Yeah. Yes. It's and it's uh, actually for the University of Ljubljana. Yeah. It is possible in the second year uh, of study. So first, she uh, should enroll. I don't know. You, Isabella, you should pick faculty of law or faculty of economics, and then uh, when you will be um, at the second year of your study, you can apply also to another faculty. But you have to have all uh, requirements uh, needed for uh, application. And of course, the basis for parallel studies are defined for each study programs individually. So you have to check at the study program yes. if it allows and under which circumstances and of course under which financial requirements the enrollment in the second study program is uh, available. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I see a multitude of questions still being submitted. So uh, what we're going to try to do today in our live session is to address the ones that are beneficial to a broader audience whereas the specific ones, I'll make sure to forward them to the appropriate faculty members, and I'm sure that they will then get back to you explaining everything in an email, because I see we have a lot of questions, in fact, submitted. Perhaps to change the topic, uh, Adnan has a good question, asking if it's true that there are only a certain number of dormitories available for foreign students. Yes. yes. It depends where. <laughs> Yes, I think that every university has a certain number of uh, spaces available in student dormitories for foreign students. Um, well, in our case, in Nova Gorica, there's enough of accommodation for everybody, so um, um, all the students, I'm sure, will get uh, a place in a dormitory. So, in our case, it, it is not a problem, fortunately. Mm -hmm. Perhaps a related question here would be specifically for uh, Ljubljana, coming in from Amna. Uh, what is the uh, cost of the dormitory? Uh, I think it's around 120 euros. I think it's from 70 to 120. Uh, this information is also published on our website. But usually dormitory gets, as I mentioned before, those who get scholarships from the ministry. Thank you so Otherwise, much. You can check our website. Um, you can go uh, on the chapter about living in Slovenia, and there we have all the links. How can you find um, accommodation by yourself? I don't know, a single room together with other students, and so on. And it, it's also not very expensive, um, the rent. Thank you so much. Uh, I've just brought back the presentation with a few key. Uh, uh, key email addresses and websites, if that's okay. And let's see, I had a good question that I uh, marked over here. Every uh, international student uh, might be wondering what uh, the attendees submitted. Uh, are they allowed to have a part-time job while studying in Slovenia? Good question. Yes. Um, like I said, uh, they could, you know, they can work as students, 
up to a certain amount of uh, hours per month. Uh, of course, it's uh, not easy to study and work at the same time, but they have this, this possibility yet. Yeah. And even more, our ministry is to a, to a certain degree encouraging this. In the national development strategies, there are projects like uh, creative programs for um, uh, knowledge into practice. Knowledge into practice and for collaboration with non profit organizations. Mm -hmm. um, and universities have submitted and obtained a lot of uh, such research programs where students are actively involved. They are doing their education-based research, and they even get very well paid for this. And this is one of our national strategies, uh, encouraging uh, the involvement of students into practical research. And of course, it is open for all, all our students, regardless for, of their place of origin. Thank you. Yet again, guys. A uh, slightly related question uh, here would be regarding postgraduate career options. Uh, for PhD students, uh, are uh, what is what are the uh, opportunities uh, to get some work after uh, finishing their postgraduate degree? Let me put it in this way: uh, very successful and uh, uh, excellent PhD students can apply for post PhD grants uh, financed by our Ministry of Science and Education. Of course, uh, successful students are interesting for our research institutions as well as the industry. Uh, and of course, our education, PhDs obtained by Slovenian universities are a very good passports to continue the career also in Central, Western, European, and global research institutions. Boris, thank you so much. Uh, and then let's touch Tony's question. He has a good question, asking us uh, how do the ECT credits work? How would they know how many points they get from their grades? Well, every study program has a certain amount of ECTS, and also every course you can you can follow all the courses online, and every course has a certain number of ECTS assigned, and then you just calculate and see how many you gather with per semester and per year. Uh, in average, the um, undergraduate study programs uh, have 180 ECTS for three years, for, uh, for three years yeah? and then uh, master study programs 120 if it's two years, and also and PhD study programs 360. Yeah, and you also have single cycle master degree programs that are for EU regulated professions such as medicine, veterinary medicine, pharmacy, architecture, and those programs last five or six years, and you can gain uh, 300 or 250 uh, ECTS points. As Chloe mentioned, but on, uh, on the bachelor level, it's for three or four years um, lasting degree programs, and on master, there are also one year uh, programs. Uh -huh. Perhaps we should mention that the grades that you get for passing your exam and the number of ECTC points are not related. So a grade is your achievement. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah your, your level of excellence, but the number of points, of ECTC points that you get when you pass the exam is always the same. If you get a passing grade, mm -hmm. any of the passing grades, you get the same number of ECTS points because one ECTS point is roughly estimated to represent from 25 to 30 hours of students' work. And in that uh, amount, uh, all the work is included. It is included. So the lectures and individual work and seminar work and skills work, everything needed to pass a particular course. Thank you so much, Veronica, for clarifying that. Uh, and perhaps to switch topic, Adnan has a really good question. Are Slovenian language courses free to attend for foreign students? Yes, at our university there are. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we have some courses in yeah, Slovenian language courses. Yeah, but, yeah, 
Yes, I think you want a bit for full-time students who study at our university for degree program. Exchange students, we have quite a lot of exchange students too, but they, they have to uh, participate. Uh, we co-finance those language courses, but they are not um, free uh, for all uh, exchange students. Thank you. Can, sorry. <laughs> I would just like to point out our uh, online language course which was uh, prepared uh, just, I don't know, I think three months ago. This is also for free. So you can use it uh, now if you're preparing or deciding to study in Slovenia. Um, you can use this system and learn Slovenian language. And we also have uh, Slovenian language teachers at universities abroad, and you can contact them about information, how to learn Slovenian language um, at your own country. Yeah, sorry, Veronica. No, it's OK. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to point out that, for example, at our university, uh, if you opt for such a language course, Slovenian language course, you also have the opportunity as an international student uh, to uh, apply at your, um, at your school where you are enrolled um, to um, recognize uh, you the ECDC points that you gather with this kind of a course. So it can be counted as one of the elective subjects if you uh, agree beforehand. And the deans of the schools indeed um, encourage, encourage that a lot, since we believe that language knowledge is uh, also a great tool for you to be successful in your studies. Yeah, and give the same system at our university. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, and um, perhaps I have some reoccurring questions regarding the uh, English taught courses. Um, is there a fully taught uh, English uh, program? But I'm not sure if the attendees would like to know if it's perhaps a bachelor, perhaps a master program. But perhaps would you guys uh, mind doing a quick recap? Well, we organize uh, some of our degree programs in English if we have enough students enrolled uh, in the program. And they are, uh, then they are uh, fully organized in English. As I mentioned, on the doctoral level, students and lecturers agree about the language. And we have very small uh, six degree programs at bachelor level in English, uh, but more, as also Maria mentioned, are on master and doctoral level. Yes, also at the University of Maribor, we offer some study programs in English on, on undergraduate, bachelor level, and on master and PhD level, uh, but for specific information for which one uh, you can uh, study in English, you can uh, look up the call for enrollment. Mm -hmm. And also, and and also and of course, website. the number of students, the, 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 the study program must enroll a certain number of uh, foreign students to be uh, taught in English. As mentioned by my predecessors and mentioned also earlier, uh, the problem is that according to Slovenian legislation, the official language has to be Slovenian. Consequently, the number of English courses is rather small. Uh, at our university, the whole vertical is presented only uh, uh, for studies of mathematics uh, to a certain degree by information sciences, management and economics, or management of touristic uh, destinations. But, as we all mentioned before, the support uh, of uh, uh, Slovenian language courses uh, is so well organized in all universities and also co-financed by the interna internationalization projects by the Ministry of Science and Research, Science, Research and uh, Education, that our students have less problems uh, enrolling into Slovene courses, then mastering uh, with their previous knowledge uh, the application of the enrollment into in English courses. Yeah, I would just like to point out that it's best that you, for all uh, enrollment requirements offered degree programs, um, available enrollment slots, that you check out all of our calls for enrollment, which are usually published in February on our website, and there are all information also regarding uh, language and the requirements if you, I don't know, have to pass um, Slovene language exam at B2 level for some of the degree programs. Thank you so much, guys. I hope that uh, you have some time to perhaps answer a question more. 
Um, because I've had a good question recently uh, submitted by Amna saying if it's necessary to know Slovene language as a test of their abilities. Okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. But at our university, uh, you have to pass um, Slovene language exam at B2 level if you wish to enroll at some bachelor and master degree uh, program. For example, our Academy of Theater, Radio, Film, and Television requires that. Our Faculty of Medicine, Faculty of Pharmacy, Faculty of Administration, Faculty of Health Sciences. Also, some uh, Slovene language, uh, for some Slovene language courses at Faculty of Arts and Program Journalism at Faculty uh, of Social Sciences. Uh, but we do not have such requirements on the doctoral level. But this is not uh, like um, a test of ability, capacity, and skills. This is different. This is Slovene language exam. Uh, also, some our faculties require those tests, but this is not the same. Again, for optimal information, you should just uh, contact, uh, well, what, either the offices, admission offices of the universities, or just check at individual study programs web pages. Mm -hmm. uh, if anything, then we can be proud of the transparency and the level of information on all of our uh, web pages for our universities where we are pretty sure that you can get the quite easily the specific information at the moment when you decide at which university, which faculty, and which study program you are interested in. Thank yeah, you so much. Just, um, if I may add, at our university, we don't require any Slovenian language pre-knowledge. Uh, but of course, it is a great benefit for you, especially at bachelor's uh, and master's levels, or in specific fields like, of course, Slovene studies or cultural history, where without knowing Slovene, it is rather difficult to study. On the other hand, there are all PhD study programs fully carried out in English uh, and individual arrangements um, possible on other levels at other study programs. Um, but also at all university at all universities, like they have already pointed out, mm -hmm. Slovenian language support is available uh, and also appreciated by the international students, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much yet again. Uh, let's see, uh, perhaps a question to wrap things uh, up would be uh, when the, the students are choosing uh, one of the four universities available to study in Slovenia, uh, they're saying that uh, perhaps the price of the dormitory or the food, for that matter, sort of the cost of living, uh, would play a factor. Are there any big differences between the different universities, between the different cities? Small differences, Not I would really. say. Yeah. Uh, food, as my colleague mentioned, is subsidized. So uh, every student gets student coupons and they can use them in, uh, in the restaurants around the city. Mm, and also the price of student dormitories are quite comparable, comparable yeah. yeah, so it doesn't matter where you study. Yeah, well, and also there's information on studying Slovenia webpage for every location mm -hmm. of our university where you can find average prices for mm -hmm. food and accommodation. This might even sound like a concluding remark, although I hope it is not. But uh, studying in Slovenia is a benefit. Uh, at least from these two perspectives, because it is located in the heart of Europe, as mentioned before, between the Alps, Mediterranean Sea, Pannonian Plain, and the Balkans. It is a multicultural environment, so also reflected in its culinary traditions. Currently, the Slovenia is just applying for a huge uh, um, project called the Culinary Region of Europe. We have a lot of diversity, and the prices are very low. Uh, some specialized uh, reviews have evaluated Slovenia as being one of the top culinary destinations, and all the students coming to Slovenia will be able to experience that. Slovenia is in the heart of Europe, but its heart is still very cheap to come here. Logistics are quite inexpensive. You can experience uh, a high quality of studies and, of course, a high quality of living. Uh, as mentioned several times, it is safe and enjoyable. And we, representatives of all the universities here, 
are pretty sure that we can, if anything we can guarantee, we can guarantee that the future students will spend some excellent time studying in Slovenia, and of course will never regret their decisions that they came to study at our universities. Boris, thank you so much. And in fact, unfortunately, uh, this was the time that we had for today's webinar. Uh, to, for the questions that we weren't able to address in today's live session, again, I'll make sure to forward them to the faculty members who will then in turn get back to you with all of the necessary information. So rest assured, you guys will be taken care of. And having said that, it is time to wrap up today's webinar. Therefore, allow me to thank our audience members firstly for joining. I'm sure that this session was more than informative and I sure hope that you are seriously considering to apply to one of the universities to one of the many programs being offered at different educational levels. So I wish you guys the best of luck with your future study endeavors. And of course, a very special thank you to Slovenia, to Ljubljana, to Katja, to Maria, to Veronika, to Stoyan, and to uh, Boris. Thank you so much for taking the time today, sharing your expertise on this matter. Perhaps any last minute closing comments before we say goodbye? Well, we would just like to invite you to study at our university. And if you do not decide to study um, for degree pro for to gaining a degree, you can always come as an exchange student or join us at our summer school courses. So, welcome to Slovenia. Dobro <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. And this time, a thank you to all of our participants. And this is Simon, your host, signing off by wishing you guys perhaps a good morning, might be a good afternoon, or who knows, a good evening. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.